Bandung, past to present. The term Bandung has been used since prehistoric times to name a giant lake and it is also the name of a district located in the middle of Priangan Mountain. The word Bandung came from the word Bandung, which refers to a lake that was formed by an explosion of Mount Tangkuban Prahu. Bandung was established by a decree on September 18, 1810, which until now is commemorated as the anniversary of Bandung City. Bandung is also known as Paris Van Java. It can be shown by the existence of Braga Street, the most European shopping complex pathway in Indonesia. From this city, also the struggle and resistance of countries in Asia and Africa were called upon and inflamed with one breath on 1955. The city of Bandung is located between 107 degree 36 minutes east longitude and 6 degree 55 minutes south latitude. That geographic position resulted Bandung to be a very strategic city from various aspects, communications, economic, or even security, because Bandung is located exactly at the axis of national highway and the axis of economic highway, north and south for agribusinesses commodities, west and east for service and goods commodities. Nowadays, Bandung is making ways of becoming prestigious, clean, prosperous, obedient, and friendly Bandung metropolitan city. Lifestyle of Bandung Mornings in Bandung city awaken enthusiasm and spirit of the people to start their activities. This enthusiasm spurs the economic growth or LPA of Bandung to 6.83% in 2003 with gross regional domestic products of 20,690,500,000 rupiahs. The level of inflation in Bandung is 11.09%. Bandung is known with its creative people commodities. In this modernization era, Bandung successfully maintains its culture affecting its people's cultural behaviors. Culture which is deeply rooted in the society resulted the work of cultural human beings. From the city, arts are born and become masterpieces for culture in Indonesia. So then, Bandung becomes a trendsetter for traditional and modern culture in Indonesia in art, architecture, fashion, and music. All this is supported by the availability of education facilities for the people from pre-elementary school to high education spreading in every corner of the city. It pushes the level of quality and quantity of human resources from Bandung who are above average compared to the other areas in Indonesia. Various science and knowledge can be learned in this city causing Bandung to become the city of education and the center of various fields of national research activities. This city is located 791 meters above sea levels and surrounded by hills and mountains, causing it to be highly potential in its ecosystem. Other than that, its damp and cold climate with average temperature of 23.1 degrees Celsius and average rainfall of 204.11 millimeters enabling people to do their activities comfortably. Bandung as Paris Van Java in the past times now is still maintaining its identity as the city for shopping, food, and entertainment tourism. Every weekend, 
Bandung is always filled with domestic or local tourists to shop, eat, rendezvous, or even only to search for entertainment along the famous Dago Street. Bandung is now has become the trendsetter for fashion and trend lovers in Indonesia. All of that can be reached easily because of Bandung's strategic geographic position, the national transportation path to the island of Java. With first-class transportation infrastructure, various kinds of transportation facilities can be used to get to Bandung from air or land. Air transport volume, which are quite plenty, and non-stop land transportation in the form of motor vehicle or trains, has opened Bandung from eight different directions, so that anyone, anytime, can perform their activities right here in Bandung. The distance of Bandung from Jakarta, which is quite near, causing Bandung to be in harmony with Jakarta. Bandung can be reached 3 hours by train, 3 and a half hours by car, or even 30 minutes by air transportation. And it gives amenity for investors to travel from Bandung or to Bandung. Investment Opportunities Nowadays, industrial sectors in Bandung is directed toward development and growth of environment-friendly and non-pollutant industries. Other than that, industries that produce science and technology products have become development and growth for future industrial sectors such as those which have been pioneered by PTDI, Pindad, Lipi, Batan, Land, and PT Inti. As a city of education, Bandung opens the opportunities for investors to invest in education sectors through the development and growth of high education areas in East Bandung. The availability of education supporting services such as education facilities, technologies facilities, and also private education services, and also places to train workers. Even though Bandung is giving all of its potentials to become Bandung metropolitan city, the government of Bandung still cares and maintains the conservation of environment and nature's continuity around Bandung. Even through its nature, Bandung offers nature-friendly investments in the form of development of integrated economic areas and not destroying the conservation of the environment, such as the arrangement of protected forests of Dagopakar and also Puncur. Other than that, through plans of developing integrated area of Gedebage, Bandung offers a strategic location to be developed to become integrated tourism area for the people. Commerce and service sectors are the most dominant sectors in Bandung's PDRB growth rate with a percentage of 42.26%. Commerce and service sectors have become one of the most considered superior investment sectors, particularly with the vision of Bandung, which is prestigious service city, causing those sectors to become more dominant. Along with the increase of residents, 
caused by perturbation of immigration, causing the need of the people for the availability of settlement and housing, which becomes one of the priority of the government of Bandung. Because of that, Bandung offers investment opportunities in the sectors of property by developing integrated housing areas in East Bandung for ready-to-build areas or ready-to-build environments, and also by revitalizing undeveloped areas in Bandung through building vertical housing systems. With a length of road of 1,103,710 kilometers, Bandung needs revitalization in transportation sectors to strengthen the city's infrastructure. The need of Bandung for the availability of integrated terminal and competent airport also mass transportation appliance is an investment opportunity offered by Bandung in transportation sector. Nowadays, only about 60% of the areas in Bandung are connected through phone extension service, but 100% of the areas in Bandung can capture signals and networks of cellular communication system. The new regulation system allows private sectors to take part in providing telecommunication services in Bandung so that investment opportunities in communication areas are fair and competitive. Bandung is in need of information services which are creative, educational, and can urge growth in various sectors. Nowadays, information service sectors in Bandung can be acquired in the form of television, printed media, radio, and also internet services. Future Plan City Development Western Bandung and Eastern Bandung Bandung is planned to be directed toward even distribution, growth, service, and harmony of regional development activities by maintaining the environment's balance and the availability of regional resources. That planning is done by developing two primary centers in West Bandung and East Bandung areas, divided in six development areas with each primary center and one secondary center. The development of primary and secondary centers is supported by completing and increasing transportation network through the making of alternative roads, freeway inside the city, north Silk Road path, and north-south access in East Bandung area. That policy will direct and prioritize the development in Bandung toward the new city in East Bandung area. It is also supported by controlling the development in old city areas and revitalizing the centers of the city and limit the development in North Bandung areas which are conservation areas. Space usage pattern policy also urged the process of conserving and revitalizing of water absorption areas, the establishment of protected areas with a width of 10% of the width of Bandung, also increased the percentage of green open spaces or RTH in Bandung. Other than that, there will also be established incentive and disincentive system. Specific incentive will be given to urge development of Gedebage Primary Center, development of Sadang Serang, Setrasari, and Archamanik Secondary Center, the development of integrated terminal, also the conservation of buildings and areas. While this incentive will be done for limit and controlling process, growth and development in West Bandung area. Nowadays, in democratization and openness era, the government of Bandung under the leadership of Hajir Dada Rosada SHMSE has established a desire and intention to increase service. Including for all the investors who are willing to invest in Bandung, the government will give maximal aid by providing amenity in information and service aspects for all the investors. With a democratic, honest and justified government, Bandung offers various choice of beneficial investment opportunities for you.